what is a disciple? Stay tuned. Welcome to Animated Christians. We ask questions about the church as well as original content. So, what is a disciple? Well, a definition of a disciple is one who embraces and assists in spreading the teachings of another. Looking at this definition, we see that the student embraces the teaching they're learning from their master. One way to look at this is another word called apprentice, and the definition of apprentice is a person who works for another in order to learn a trade. So, so, looking at this definition, we see that it's someone who works for another or learns under another, like Jesus teaching his disciples and learning from him. Being a disciple means that we are servants to our master Jesus, who corrects us in the right way of his teachings. So, when you become a disciple, you embrace the teachings of Jesus with absolute truth. Good example is that I may lead some people to Christ, but I'm always following those in front of me. And there are people in the back of me following me. Therefore, I become a leader, even though I'm following someone in front of me. Now, being a disciple will cost you something. And the Bible verse that reflects that is Luke chapter 9 verses 23 through 24 says, If any of you want to walk my path, you're going to have to deny yourself. You will have to take up your cross every day and follow me. If you try to avoid danger and risk, then you will lose everything. If you let go of your life and risk all for my sake, then your life will be rescued, healed, and made whole and full. So, looking at this verse, we see that being a disciple means giving up ourselves to become servants or disciples of Jesus and sacrifices we have to make to follow him. Here is another verse to look at. Matthew chapter 10 verses 38 through 39 says, If you refuse to take up your cross and follow me on the narrow road, then you are not worthy of me. To find your life, you must lose your life, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. We see in this verse, if we don't follow Jesus, then we are not worthy of him or being his disciple. But it comes down to the decision you make. So, looking at this verse, we see that you must follow Jesus to be his disciple, but that comes with sacrifices you will have to make to follow him. And are you willing to make that sacrifice? What is a sacrifice? Well, a definition of sacrifice is the act of giving up something highly valued for the sake of something else consider to have a greater. Looking at this definition, it means we will have to give up what we value most for the greater good of Jesus. I will give an example of a sacrifice I had to make. I was a big anime fan, watching anime, playing anime, etc. The reason I enjoyed anime cartoon in Japanese is for the stories, but did not realize the spiritual influence it was having on me. Then, one day, two years ago, I was in prayer when God asked me to sell all my anime stuff. This is something I did not do at first, but eventually conceded. When I sold all my anime stuff and started buying VeggieTale DVDs to replace it, God gave me another gift, a church I had been praying for for years. I say this because sometimes God will ask you to sacrifice something for him and for you to follow him, and he will give you something greater beyond your wildest dreams. 
a disciple eventually becomes a leader to make more disciples based on the teachings Jesus had taught them in helping spread good news around the world. So I hope this helps you understand what a disciple is and the sacrifices you have to make to follow him. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.